The engine does the engine thing. Race on Sunday, sell on Monday. I can't see over my shoulder on this bike. Okay, time to have some fun. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Modern Classic Giveaway Series with the Ducati 1098. And we're going to talk today a little bit about what makes a modern classic, what is a modern classic, and kind of uh, not making excuses per se as to why we have this as a modern classic, but really just trying to elucidate some thoughts I've had on the subject because it really has been bothering me a little bit lately. So if you will permit me to uh, ramble and break apart some of the thoughts on the motorcycling industry in some bad terms, I think we're going to have a good time and actually come up with a very good definition of what modern classic motorcycles even mean. So stick with me, it should be a good one. Alrighty guys, I'm not going to lie. Today I have battled where if you're paying attention, that is the west and the sun is very low in the sky. It's like six o'clock and I spent all day today trying to write a script for this video. I had a really, really hard time doing it. And I don't normally get writer's block. Uh, I'm pretty lucky whenever I sit down and write scripts, the words just come to me. I've only had one other list or one other video where I had a really hard time making the script. And I had a really hard time making this one. And then I got in the car because I was like, you know what? I need to go ride a motorcycle. And there's only one key I want to reach for right now. And it's the Ducati 1098. And it hit me why I was having such a hard time defining modern classic. And I think it's because we're looking at it through the wrong lens. So let's get on the road and let's start talking about this. Uh, but before we do, we got to... Dude, that thing just sounds so good. It sounds so good. Alrighty, so after eight hours staring at my screen, trying to figure out what this script was going to be about, and, and the words that were going to go into it, the biggest thing that I came up with was modern classic motorcycles versus their old counterparts, and modern classic cars versus their counterparts. So let's talk about the best example I can think of for a modern classic motorcycle uh, that exists nowadays, and that is the Bonneville. If you look at the old school Bonneville, say from circa 1968, I believe they were still running then, uh, the T120 versus the 2021 T120. You look at them and they're actually very similar. They look very similar. Uh, you can tell that there's some differences in stuff like the metallurgy in the engine because uh, the engine just looks much more sophisticated. Uh, the suspension is much more sophisticated. The brakes are more pulled together. The carburetors on the new one are fake. They're actually fuel injection. Uh, the dashes look different, all that stuff. But it's still this parallel twin engine set in a cradle tube steel frame and it's making some good power, but it's not making a ton of power from what you would expect as a modern 1200cc engine. It's making like 80 horsepower and 80 foot-pounds of torque. You can get some that are making more, but I believe the T120 is 80 and 80. Now, let's take a look uh, at the comparison that I had worked on earlier, which was the 1968 Challenger versus the 2021 Challenger. Now, the 68 Challenger is classic Americana, right? I mean, you can't get a more classic looking American muscle car, in my opinion. Uh, it's just, it's like the image of the 70s, really. And you look at it, you've got, you know, big, long, low lines, big flat hood. You know, the steel doesn't quite fit together perfectly because it was all stamped out individually by humans and machines as opposed to a bunch of robots. Uh, the interior looks like, you know, it looks like crap compared to nowadays. You don't have a headrest. 
You don't have an airbag sitting in the steering wheel. There's a lot of stuff missing on that car. And then you look at the modern Challenger, the big one. Uh, it's a really big, fat car. It's not sleek at all. The new modern Challenger has those big crumple zones in the engine and it's got airbags and it's got massive roll cages and big tires and, you know, the little tire walls, the little performance tires so that the tires don't flex under all the power. It's a lot... You don't really look at a Challenger nowadays and be like, oh yeah, that's you know, a modern version of an old school car. It just looks like a new car. You don't get guys coming up to you at the gas station with your Challenger being like, oh man, I had one of those back in the day. But you do get that with the Bonneville, right? You get a bunch of old timers walking up to you and you're like, man, I had one just like that back in the day. Or my dad had one. Or my mom had one. Or whatever. There's this connection to these old motorcycles that you don't see in cars nowadays. And I was thinking, well, okay, so that means that a modern classic is a motorcycle that is built very similarly to how it was back in the day, and just with new parts, right? Eh, not really, because you look at motorcycles like the W800. They're built very similar today, as they were back in the 60s. And then you have also got Neo Retro Bikes, which basically have nothing in common with old versions of their counterparts. Look at stuff like the CB650R versus the CB650 back in the day. Very, very different motorcycles, both in purpose and style. So I found that this modern classic term was very flawed. I, I couldn't figure out why, though. You know, I, I could shoot holes in it, but I couldn't put my finger on why. And then I realized that the reason why I think a lot of people are drawn to modern classic motorcycles is it elicits a time before we knew really what we were doing. Because think about it like this. You talk to people and they have a different time frame of when they think classic was. You've got some people who think classic motorcycling was in the 20s with the Scout when it had a, you know, hand clutch and or a hand shifter and all that stuff and you know the throttle was on the wrong side and you no know, basically we didn't know how to build a motorcycle at all back then. But to some people, that's when classic motorcycling was. You know, you had just bikes like the Vincent Black Shadow and stuff, and that, that to them is classic motorcycling. And then you have people who think classic motorcycling was the Steve McQueen era, when people were taking Harleys and uh, Bonnevilles and sending them up off cliffs and up hill climbs and doing a whole bunch of dumb stuff because we didn't have dirt bikes at the time, so we had to take the bikes that we had and use them as a dirt bike. But then you have people like me and Yam who think that this is a modern classic. And it's a super bike from back when we really didn't know what made a super bike, you know? Everybody was just a little bit different. You had the Japanese folks using twin spar frames, Yamaha had their cross plane inline four in 2009, Honda was slowly getting their way up to a thousand cc's. Everybody's bike was just a little bit different. So I really think that's what makes modern classics a modern classic, is it's this homage to a time when we didn't have a perfect understanding of what makes a motorcycle. And let's compare this thing to any modern superbike. You know, well, if, we do, if you're sick of us comparing it to the CBR1000, the Fireblade, let's compare it to the R1. The R1 has, you know, the 999cc inline four putting down 200 horsepower, 
twin spar frame, supercomputer electronics, fly-by-wire throttle. It's, it's a very electronic motorcycle and it rides very similarly to other super bikes. You know, there's not a lot setting that bike apart aside from its exhaust note from the rest of the crop. There just isn't. You know, you might say, oh, the looks are different, but is it really? I mean, it's just plastic around a twin spar frame. It's two wheels and a beefy swing arm and a bigger engine. And that's really what all the super bikes are nowadays. But okay, maybe you don't like that analogy. Let's take a look at uh, Harley, for example. Everybody thinks that Harley is this doofus company that can't make a good motorcycle. But I rode two great bikes from Harley, two very modern motorcycles, the Pan Am and the Sportster S. And they are absolutely capable of making perfectly modern motorcycles, but they don't. They're co they completely understand how to make a good bike. They just do, they don't. They choose not to because they want to sell boomer bikes to dentists, which more power to them, but you know, it's a bit of a bummer for me. But you know, you look at their uh, frame in the Sportster, it hasn't changed in 50 years, something like that, 87 to 2021 when the Sportster S hit. You know, it's still, uh, they, they have this old school style, but with a modern engine in there. It's this homage to older times back when, you know, uh, motorcycling just wasn't as perfect as it is today. And I think that's why a lot of people still really like Harley Davidson. Because their bikes aren't perfect. And, you know, I have a 2020 SMCR and it's basically flawless. It has no problems whatsoever. Yeah, it doesn't do highway so good because it's a single cylinder, but you know, functionally it's, it's flawless. Uh, it handles perfectly. The engine does the engine thing. The quick shifter does the quick shifter thing. You know, all the bits and pieces work exactly as advertised. And that's essentially all motorcycles now. The modern classic is basically just a catch-all for a motorcycle that elicits it calls back to a time when things were simpler, you know? Now, I guess you could make the argument that this isn't a modern classic because it's not calling back to a simpler time. It is from a simpler time. And yeah, you got me there. <laughs> I mean, it is the genuine article from 2008. So I guess it's technically a classic in that sense. But, you know, it is also a modern version of older race bikes, so who knows? Maybe it is a modern classic. You know, it's funny, guys. I had somebody say a comment on my first ride on this bike, and they said that me just cruising through a twisty road at, at kind of a slow speed, I'm not going fast at all. I'm just out here enjoying the evening on this motorcycle. And I was doing that last Thursday when I made my first ride and somebody was like, oh man, watching Spike crawl down Lime Creek was giving me, you know, giving me a problem. It was making me feel uncomfortable or something like that. Like, I needed to be out being fast on that road. Like, I needed to be out trying to set some lap record or something like that. And you know what? This motorcycle does not care about that. It really doesn't. It's completely okay to cruise. Yes, it was the world championship winning motorcycle and world superbike in 2008. It, you know, crushed all comers, essentially. And it was the last year that Ducati reigned supreme before Yamaha came and ate everybody's lunch with the R1. But, 
you know, this was back when a race bike wasn't built for one person. World Superbike motorcycles were designed for race on Sunday, sell on Monday. You know, you go out, watch the race, watch your favorite racer, whoop ass on a cool looking bike, and then you walk into the showroom and be like, look, I can ride the same bike that my guy was riding yesterday at the track. And yeah, you're not gonna go out and win a World Superbike title on this motorcycle. No one who bought it from a dealership is. But that's not really the point, right? The point is to go out and get a cool bike that you can just cruise on and have fun. And you can't do that on a modern leader bike. You just can't. They're not about having fun. They're about doing one thing, and that's going as fast as you possibly can in a funny looking circle, taking home podium hats. <laughs> that's all they're meant to do. This thing, I'm completely content to just cruise around on and just enjoy, you know, these tight, twisty corners at a little bit over the speed limit. I really don't feel like I need to, I don't feel like I'm riding the bike wrong, you know? I really don't. It's not super high strung, it's, it's deeply flawed in that sense, as a, as a, you know, performance motorcycle. It's, compared to the bikes we have nowadays, this thing is no comparison. But then again, it's just trying to be fun. It's trying to be, you know, a puppy dog for you. Go out and experience a twisty road and open up the throttle and have some power slap you upside the head and then, you know, you cool it back down. And then you take it to the track and have a good time. But you can also ride it on the street in equal measure, you know? That's what modern classics are to me, is a motorcycle that... that really just doesn't want to be perfect. Go back to that time when, you know, stuff was nice and easy and... it's just about having fun. Is that somebody over there? No, I can't, I can't see over my shoulder on this bike. Okay. Time to have some fun. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just fun. It's all about just enjoying yourself, enjoying the ride. You can't do that on a lot of modern motorcycles. Not even bikes like the, the new Super Duke. It's just too high strung and too purpose built and I don't know. At a certain point, motorcycling gets too, too up itself for its own good. So to make a long story short, a long vlog short, I really think Modern Classic is just industry shorthand for a motorcycle that, that is just about having fun, you know? It's about being bad compared to the competition, you know, the, the Bonneville is a bad cruiser. It's a bad dirt bike, but it doesn't matter. It's just out there having fun, you know? This, comparatively, is a bad sport bike compared to the modern crop of leader bikes. But it's out here having fun, man. And don't get me wrong, none of these motorcycles are bad. This, is, this thing is excellent. It is so much more performance than even I can extract from it. But it's not so elitist as to say, no, don't get on me, don't have, you can't have fun. You, you need to just give the keys to someone else. That's what the Fireblade says to me. This thing doesn't. This thing's just like, let's go for a cruise, man. Let's just go have some fun. Now remember, if you would like to win this motorcycle right here, click the links down below, go to yamminoop.co, get yourself signed up to win. Don't forget to hop into the Discord while you're there. Uh, it's a place where you can hang out with Yam and I, and if you feel like debating me on this topic, uh, if you feel like you have a better definition, feel free to hit me up in the Discord. I'm completely open to conversation on this topic because like a lot of things in the industry, like uh, middleweight sport bikes, I think 
Modern Classic is a deeply flawed catch-all. And maybe we can come up with a definition that makes everything better. Who knows? Anyway, click the links down below. Get yourself signed up to win. And uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go have some more fun on this motorcycle before I have to take it home. Or, well, take it back to the shop and go home for the day. Man, this was a lot more fun than trying to sit there and hammer out a script for eight hours. <laughs> Wish I'd have done this this morning. Catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Hey! Hey you! Yeah! Click the, uh, click the Amy new video right over there. You should do it. Click that video. Keep watching. Some good stuff. You should really check it out. Hey! Look over there! Go click the video! Look, 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 click it! Click it right now, do it! Do it, click that video right now, do it! Do it! Do it!